Hello and welcome to another report in Agri Insight. In this report we are looking at the application of slurry using a class Zerian and a Carveco wide boom applicator. We're in Oxfordshire uh, just outside Ainsham and the machine is applying slurry from or digestate from a local anaerobic digester. Let's go and look at the kit. The use of large slurry tankers with wide boom applicators is very common on the continent but is much rarer here in the UK. But with increasing fertilizer prices and um, an increase in the number of biodigesters being built, we see that these are going to become an increasingly common site. The unit we see here is a Class Zerian 3800 and a Kawako 24,000 litre tanker. It's run by Oxford contractor Charlie Baker and is a couple of years old. The swan neck configuration of the tractor means that the machine is very manoeuvrable and also the power of the tractor is fully utilised. Wide flotation tyres are an important uh, part of this unit and also the steering rear axle keeps the relatively long machine very manoeuvrable. Let's join driver Harry Pinson in the cab. Inside the suspension of the class system means that the ride is both quiet and smooth. In terms of power, all 300 horsepower of the class is used in occasions when a fully mounted tank is going uphill. The boom was originally a 15 meter unit, but this year has been replaced by a 30 meter unit and this gives a very high output. In fact, the ratio of time spreading compared to travel is quite low because of the sheer volume of material that can be applied in a relatively short period of time. Slurry application is never going to be popular with uh, householders living next to fields, but the wide boom means that slurry can be applied right up to the edge of the field. Furthermore, if loss of nutrients through evaporation is vastly reduced. Although the 30 meter boom is the one that is being used most of the time, the previous 15 meter has not been totally discarded. Sometimes in very rough fields with uh, very bumpy conditions, it's better to use the 15 meter boom um, as there is a danger that with the larger, heavier 30 meter boom, that damage could be done to the uh, boom system and to the tanker. The logistics of getting large volumes of slurry to the field should not be underestimated. On the day that we visited the operation, there were three articulated tanker lorries on the go, and that was for a relatively short distance between the digester and the fields. Sometimes four or even five tankers are used with this operation. In summary, this setup gives a very high output, has the ability to work in difficult conditions and with a low loss of nutrients from the slurry. However, it does require well thought out logistics to maximise output. This has been an Agri Insight production. We hope you've enjoyed it.